Saluting their hero, the Sixers' Allen Iverson, who will be presented with the NBA's Most Valuable Player Award. He's attempting eight threes per game and shooting over 45 cents. Chipping in, three blocks, and then also doing a terrific job with six rebounds. Both guys must step up in this one, Dick. But what this crowd is waiting for is about to happen. And they have been shouting MVP. Congratulations, 2001 NBA MVP, Allen Iverson. I want to thank my family and my friends, my coaching staff, and my teammates. Because without my teammates, I definitely wouldn't be up here getting this award right now. And Davis will game five against the Knicks on the road. The Raptors beat New York and advance to the second round as the tip is controlled by the Sixers. Try to get Jumaine Jones off early. Iverson, who gets in this series, Philly will test you over 48 minutes to get all the way back. Allen Iverson, as he uh, always does, gets into the lane. Here's Iverson driving past oh, Williams and got hit in the face. Yep. It'll be the right eye that he got hit. Well, that was a reach back. That time, you could see when he got the half a step advantage off of Williams. Just keep an eye on it. Watch the reach back, and it catches him right there, right in the eye area. And you can see definite foul. Carter on McKee. So right away, Larry Brown sees this, and he's going at it. And that is a major plus. He will have less than 11 turnovers game to game. Iverson steps back. He's three for three to start the game, and Lenny Wilkins wants to talk it over. The Sixers, on the night that Allen Iverson gets presented the MVP award, move out to an 11 to nothing lead. Yeah, I like what we're seeing. Interception by Carter. Iverson back to meet him. And here is Carter going around Iverson nicely. And here is McKee. He's got Iverson ahead of the field. Who did not play. In the last game of the turnover, Iverson underneath McKee never came up court. And Lenny may have to call another timeout soon. It is a 13-point game, and here it is. Another timeout call watching tonight in Canada on TSN. The Sixers off to the big start, and, and the basket by Carter. But you'll take him if you get him. Here is Jones posting up Iverson. Loops it in, Allen Iverson. Previous games after having a sensational rookie year. And the oh, shot man. clock expires. Three and a half to go. Williams defending against Iverson. Breezes by and feeding Matumbo. Here's a clear out. Iverson stepping back again and hitting again. And the offensive foul. But it's really a lame baseball parlance, not so much here. Carter going to the bench, led by Allen Iverson with 12 points, three assists, two steals. You know, where were Muggsy and Spud Webb when I needed them? But he's, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to see Allen grow. He had to mature and grow up, and that is one of the great things. And, of course, his upbringing, a little different than what a lot of people had to experience. And he has responded, and a crowning achievement for him. Six on the shot clock. Iverson for three. He's got it again. Allen Iverson with his first three-pointer. Now with 15. Carter, who was only one of three and had two personal fouls in the first quarter, back into the game along with Del Curry. Giles against Iverson, who hits again. A two-point basket. Allen Iverson. They had another four-on-two, four-on-three situation. And they're making it all happen with the steals. And Carter loses the ball. Yeah. 12 turnovers. Iverson steps way back for another three. That's his second of the game. And he'll be pointed out how so effective Allen Iverson. With 7.09 remaining in the second quarter, Eric Snow will... Peterson with five is the leading scorer for the Raptors. Carter going in again. Oh, wow. He stayed a walk long enough to get the shot off and get fouled by Matumbo picking up his first. What a great shot. Get it. There's somewhere around 10 points by halftime. There's Iverson. Oh, it's fouled 
as he hits the basket. So on the elbow. Allen Iverson was Chris Childs with the land a 10 to 2 run when he scored the 54 in game number two with 21 of 39 is 10 of 15 to this point. Oh, it's having the same kind of the night. We need high percentage shots. We're, we're cutting down on the turnovers now. And Iverson hitting it on the three. Stop. How do you stop that guy? Eight on the shot clock as we approach the two minute mark here in the first half. Iverson, another three. Oh. Allen Iverson, four of five from downtown. And a, another 25 point lead is stepping out of bounds. It'll be Toronto ball, but first the timeout. Sixers have one foul to give as Carter loses. Slipped again. Slipped again. And uh, 29 points on 12 of 19 shooting. Sixers coming out for the second half. Allen oh, Iverson, yeah. who is ahead of his pace of game two when he scored 54 points in the shooting, 12 of 19. We got to get it back to somewhere 8, 10, 12 by the end of this third quarter. If they make a major run here. And that is George Lynch is out for the rest of the series with a broken foot. Look at this. What difference does it make, you might say, is Allen Iverson now with 31 points. Made their first five shots of the second uh, quarter and went on a spree. Carter, another acrobatic, cannot step back against Childs. Child staying with him, and here's another three, and Iverson hits it again, so five, and that is a Sixer playoff record. And the Raptors missing some open shots, and ahead of the field in the foul is Williams fouling Iverson, who is streaking to the basket. Yeah, I, I think as Allen made his move, he thought possibly uh, Williams could possibly intercept that ball. That was just a quick move. Eastern Conference. And Matt Geiger is... Uh, out for the rest of the playoffs tonight, the rest of this game tonight, and again on Friday night. You get down in that post-up area down there, he can hurt people. Iverson, meanwhile, splitting the double team and going in, getting a piece of it was Matumbo. I, I, I like what I'm seeing here from Carter. You're catching him dip down on the left side of the lane. He only had one shot attempt in that first half. Iverson. And does it again. <laughs> the basket counts and a foul, so he has no fear. A two point basket by Allen Iverson. And he was hit. And Allen Iverson having another brilliant game. And 33% in three of those games. But tonight we're seeing him when he's good. He's very, very good. This is a team that makes threes. Here's Iverson. Oh, stop it. Stop Allen it. Iverson. Stop it. <laughs> and that ties his career high for threes. He's got six of them in the game. And they're up 83 to 57. Their biggest lead of the game. We'll be right back. So here's Iverson on the defensive side and uh, on the pass it. And Carter holding on to his left elbow. And the Matumbo picking up his fourth foul. Rough night for Vince Carter. Coincidental reason or otherwise, the last six games, Carter has been brilliant, but tonight. But no one else is helping out here. So he's struggling. If some of the other guys would get going. Brown know that he doesn't oh, want that's to That's why Aaron, uh, Larry has earmuffs on over there. <laughs> Carter. Vince Carter to be the man to step up after that game three loss. Vince Carter's response was, well, it's not about me, it's about a team. And to show his unity, he started wearing a headband to show that he's just one of the guys. And maybe he's going to try something different. 87-65 the score. Dick. There's Carter and Larry Brown. Uh, <laughs> right. Part of the Carolina tradition. Iverson with another three. Allen Iverson who has 47 points. Yeah, he's hearing it. He heard it before the game when he was presented the MVP trophy, and he's hearing it again tonight. But Allen Iverson is a very special basketball talent. Boy, no question about that, D, and uh, he came out determined tonight. One thing you know about Iverson, if you have to defend him, is that he's going to continue to come off those staggered screens. Prove the difference. 
into game number four in Toronto. When the Raptors came up empty down the stretch, here is uh, Iverson hitting, and Carter is down at the other end of the floor, holding on and time out to his uh, face, and finally the 22nd timeout called by the Raptors. So here is Carter, who's taking a beating tonight, and down on the floor, Iverson hitting the basket at the other end, now with 49. Vince Carter finally up, had to be helped off by two teammates and uh, rubbing his right eye and a standing ovation when he came off. Now keep an eye on Matumbo as he goes up. As he comes down, he gets right there. See, he catches him as the arm is coming. And he's going into the dressing room. So Iverson with the personal foul. Philly just stays. Had a magnificent hop. There's the turnover, and Iverson bumped by Childs. Uh, he's never really shot a great percentage, but tonight, when you're 7 for 10, look out. And it comes out. Good save by Jones, and Iverson hits another three. What will number three end up with? Meanwhile, the three-point attempt by Childs doesn't go. Last touch by the Sixers. The ball is bouncing right to everyone in their able. Oh, yes. Behind the back from Iverson to Matumbo. Childs is the point guard. And Allen Iverson, who has played the entire game, goes out. Well, if you're looking uh, for a comparison, you say, well, how many times did Michael get 50 in the playoffs? On six occasions. One other player had over 60 at playoff time, and that was Elgin Baylor. We don't have the competition that we had like in game three. I, I thought that Philly was still, uh, if you think back up in uh, game three, the Philadelphia 76ers, no dramatics tonight other than Allen Iverson. You know, um, you know, God was just with me tonight. I hit some shots, I got into a rhythm, and um, my teammates just did a great job of getting me the ball. The eight 